What's up guys, it's Andy Filicotti and today I want to talk about why I pay for captions on my videos. And no, not like uh, BuzzFeedy captions, I mean like for accessibility reasons. But I will also show you at the end of the video how to overlay the subtitles and captions on the top of your video. So I actually pay for this website called Rev.com. It's only a dollar per minute, so if you're making YouTube videos, you know, 10 minute videos, I mean it's only $10 to do captions, it's kind of a no brainer. Um, it's something I never even thought about doing until I met a friend who's actually deaf and he's like, oh, I don't know what's happening in your videos. And I never even, I never even thought about someone who can't hear watching my videos. So, you know, I think it's really important to do, um, YouTube and Facebook do automatic generated ones, but we know they aren't the best thing. A lot of big YouTubers have pointed out that the automatic one definitely fails a lot. So it's definitely worth investing in making good captions for your video, in my opinion. Especially because this site, Rev.com, makes it so easy. Um, it sounds like I'm getting paid to say all this, but I'm actually not. Yeah, I just love the service and it's cheap, so you can't really beat it. Um, and my favorite feature is that you can log in with your YouTube. It actually shows you what videos you have that don't have captions. So you can see here I've paid for captions on most of my videos. Um, I even went back and like did some of my older videos, paid for captions on them. So, and it's as simple as checking a box, adding it to your cart, and it calculates the cost based on the time. So a lot of my videos are a few minutes, so it's only a few dollars. Um, you know, if your video is like a minute and five seconds, you'll still pay for the full two minutes, but it's only $2. It usually takes like a couple hours. Yeah, I get back the caption file. It's incredible to me. Um, let me show you actually one of the finished products. Um, so this is from my DJI Osmo video. And uh, I still can't say that right. But yeah, like after it finishes, it actually will automatically inject it back into your video on YouTube. So you really don't have to do anything. You just pay the money and then they'll actually put it into your YouTube video, which is awesome. But if you're um, somebody who likes to upload to Facebook also, or you want to you know, manually go through and look at them or whatever, you can actually download them. And they have all different types of formats. The SRT format I found works for everything basically. And they have one that's Facebook ready. And then yeah, it's as simple as downloading it. And then on Facebook, when you're editing the video, you'll see an option for embedding a caption file. And what I love about adding captions on Facebook is when people are scrolling through the newsfeed, it'll actually show the captions to them while they're scrolling so you can actually get more attention. But in terms of YouTube, uh, I think it's great to add it for accessibility reasons. Um, obviously not everybody can hear, so it's nice to add actually good subtitles and not some garbage automated ones. You know, this is, might be in my head, but I think it will also help with like SEO on YouTube and showing up higher in search because YouTube will know and Google will know exactly what words are in your video. So yeah, after you get your caption file, uh, Rev will actually automatically put it into the video. Um, but say you wanna buy captions, you can actually upload a video. And then if you wanna add it on top of a Final Cut Pro project, for example, um, I found this site called Subsimple. Uh, it's actually a little tool that someone made that you can um, put your SRT file from Rev into this. It'll actually give you a few options. The uh, frame rate of your video is important because they don't know when the subtitles are gonna be at certain points. But yeah, this tool will basically automatically generate uh, titles on top of your video so you can make more of like a BuzzFeedy effect, you know, have the captions actually on the video itself. Yeah, let me just show you how it looks in uh, Final Cut when you Im import one of these files. It's actually like a blank project with just your subtitles, as you can see here. Because you can see how this would be annoying to manually create a spot for each one of these subtitles. So if you actually select them all, Command A, uh, and create a new compound clip. So now it's actually like one big video clip. You can copy it and bring it to your actual project. So you can see if I just paste it over here and just throw it on top. Make sure it lines up correctly, obviously. But then you can see. So yeah, and that's the reason that you should actually pay for captions on your videos. Um, it's so easy and simple. It's kind of a no brainer to do it. If you found this tip helpful, remember to like and subscribe and um, I'll catch you on the next one. Did I stop recording? Okay, it did not stop recording. I don't know why it's what happened, but whatever.